So, I'm Sarah. Nice to meet you. And I'm going to be doing... This is kind of a redoing of a first ASMR video because I originally did one on a channel and I didn't have a mic. And I was like, shit, it didn't sound good because it picked up everything. And I'm like, the day I have a mic, I'm going to start making these videos. And well, here I am. And I'm really excited. I'm also still learning everything. So this is a bit of like a trial run. And let's just hope it works. <laughs> Yay. Um, okay. So today I'm going to do a mixture of soft spoken, like tingly mouth sounds with my perfume collection. I'm still trying to figure out how to say things. <laughs> um, Basically, my perfume collection is going to be lots of tapping, mouth sounds, soft spoken, maybe a bit of whisper. We'll see how we roll. And yeah, I love perfume collection videos. I love hauls. Um, I just love anything where someone is tapping, explaining, talking, no talking. Okay, I'm going to get into the video. <laughs> so, if you love really fruity, girly, gourmand, sweet, fragrances this is going to be your kind of video and hopefully maybe you can get some inspiration from my collection first we're going to begin she's so pretty this is juicy couture's viva la juicy This is one of my oh, this, <laughs> this is one of my go-to fragrances. I get so many compliments when I wear this. Like people always go, "Ooh, what are you wearing?" And I'm like, "Oh, it's this one," and it's the best. I would say this is marked as like a sweet, fruity floral. Um, I don't have the notes on me, but. It's got like fruity notes, vanilla, floral notes, it's fresh, it's nothing overwhelming. Can I say, because I used to work in Victoria's Secret for a while and I used to be in the beauty section and managing that and I used to literally say to customers who love teas, they would love this. This smells like Victoria's Secret teas. Now, I know teas has kind of changed over the years because I used to work at Victoria's Secret Beauty and Accessories in Australia about, my goodness, like five, five or six years ago now. And I feel like the formula has changed, but literally it smells like that. I prefer, like teas is a bit sweeter. This is, uh, I don't know how to explain it. I just feel like teas has got more vanilla than what this does, but they're so identical in so many ways. And whenever we used to sell out of teas, I would tell them to buy this. Amazing. Like, look at that. Oh, and you can also, you can actually take off the bow and like you said, I've got, like I've got a calendar, I've got an Ariana Grande and I literally, you can just take it off with elastic and I pop it on top of like the little hook. It's so cute. But it says um, Ketua and has a little J there. I love juicy Ketua scents. This is the um the hundred mil out of puffum. 
so yummy. Love that. I've had that fragrance, like I've bought it multiple times. I've been wearing that for about a good, maybe four years, four or five years now. Really good. No, longer. What am I on about? About six years. I keep forgetting it's 2024. Like, the year 2016 sounds closer than what, <laughs> what you know, what it is now. Anyway. Next. This is in the same range. bought this fragrance since I had it because in Australia it's quite limited here like they have the 30 mil and the 30 mil is tiny of this like I bought this one online during COVID and um it was beautiful with Viva La Juicy fragrances they have all the flanker so the flanker is like the original notes they've got that essence in every one of their fragrances in their own way not always i think there's some of them that are quite floral that don't have it um but a lot of the fruity ones like the noir the um uh, uh, couture gold i think there's a juicy couture couture gold they've kind of got the similar essence <laughs> i just kept this for the bottle but the scent is so beautiful so yummy this and this aren't they pretty um this one here is like very like a sultry wild berry version creamy really nice a little bit softer in terms of the scent compared to the original but ultimately amazing the bottle is gorgeous look at that color same thing, you can take the little black ribbon off and use it for whatever you like. But that's the bottle. But yeah, I just keep it and I pop it on my dresser. Because I can. range I don't love all her scents even though cloud is such a popular one I don't like it personally it's just not my thing um, but the three ones I'm going to show you today love I think cloud God is a woman and Rem least favorite but I'll show you the ones I got so this one to begin is Ari say like marshmallow which it's funny because marshmallow is a note in the sewing bit no it's so soft mm -hmm. the bottle is gorgeous this one's really lovely this one is i would say like a fruity um okay i'd say like i think there's raspberry and pear it's so like raspberry Pear. I think there's about a hint of floral notes in there with marshmallow and musk. I think of musky fruit, like a fruity, sweet marshmallow floral sort of fragrance. But definitely on the sweet side, the initial first notes you'll get are quite um, like a tart, raspberry, vanilla sort of fragrance coming through. And then you'll get initially like as well the musk, the marshmallow with hints of floral. Love this. Love this. I wish I had the notes with me so I could like tell you, but if you go on um, Fragrantica, you can have a look at what's in it. But pretty much I feel like there's raspberry and pear, I think there's bergamot, I could be wrong. Um, and then there's marshmallow as well in here, in the base.
the only thing is it's a bit like depending what angle it's a bit hard to like spray because you've got this thing but you can always detach it but I just think it looks really pretty the next one in that range that's got a similar bot like it's got the exact same bottle similar kind of fragrance but very different sweet like candy one of my favorites from her this is creamy fruity like very berry like I feel like there's a lot of tartness in the blackberry that's in the opening um I think oh, there's like an Italian I don't know if it's Italian bergamot or Italian something that's in here very like berries creamy fruity sweet a little bit of zest as I said from the blackberries candy like lollies really nice definitely um has like um britney spears fantasy vibes but very different at the same time love this one so good love the bottle love the bum bum and it's got her name initialed around the top i don't think you can yeah it doesn't really pick it up but fruit. I think there's actually a note in there. Dragon fruit? Coconut water? I don't know if that's the thing, but it has got coconut in here. And yeah, very sweet. Love it. I'd just say like very juicy, like a juicy burst of like um, dragon fruit or like and, and, and coconut and creamy like the beach. Really nice. Really nice. Creamy coconut. Fruity coconut. Really nice. Very fresh. And then, I love this part. I don't know, it's just cool. I think it makes really nice sounds. Thank you. Next. Thank you. This fragrance like 2014 2015 days um, when I was really I was so obsessed with her and I'm like you know I did my hair like her and all that sort of stuff but um 
I was like, I want to smell like her. And in, I think, oh, I don't know what it was. Like someone, someone said what fragrance she wears. And I, I saw it on Twitter or something like that or Tumblr. I don't know. But it was Pink Sugar by Aquilina. Now, I bought this in 2020. And this is how long it's taken me to get through it. So, I mean, it's a fair bit. But usually my fragrances don't last me like four years without using it. I get through it usually within the year. So you can tell it's not really a favorite. But this is amazing at layering. So if I wear like Ari, this is really nice to go together. Same with, um, like, think, uh... Sweet Like Candy, really good. This here is very, um, like, oh, it's so rich. Very caramel, sweet, syrupy, vanilla, cotton candy. Like, it's very rich, very warm, very warm. So if you were to smell it, the first note, I feel like you would get a burst of really rich, deep caramel with cotton candy. Um, vanilla and then like amber I feel like amber is really big in here like musk so it kind of smells like a really sweet cake but very deep like I can't explain it it's very rich and um, oh, I love the sound of that but she loved this and so I bought it and I would always spray it on it's just it's very heavy so this is really good to layer. I think they've actually got a few other ones in the range. I'm curious to smell the red velvet one. But yeah, just on its own. It's super sweet. I used to kind of get a bit of like a nose headache. Like where it's so much that it like hurts here. But really good to layer with. Last two things. These are actually body mists of Thank You Next and Ari, but I love the sounds that they make, so I'm just gonna tap on them for you because and show you them because they're really pretty. One, two. Oh my god. Me. Okay. This is the Ari one. I love the packaging. So nice. designed to be the lighter fragrance of the fragrance. Now most people will buy a body mist and go, it smells nice but it doesn't last very long. Yeah, there's a reason. Um, when I was in Victoria's Secret and I worked there, we had to learn the difference between like the body mist and the eau de parfums and all of that because people were like, oh it doesn't last long and stuff and like, yeah, because it's got Obviously, it's got mm -hmm. alcohol as the main first component, but then it's got water. So when you're mixing that on your skin with the oils, it doesn't last very long. It kind of evaporates into your skin. Um, it, it doesn't, like, maybe one to two hours, depending. I know, like, the Sol de Janeiro ones last longer. I think it just depends on the ingredients and what is used. But generally, I love using body mists on clothes so if you've got a top 
uh, obviously being mindful of the material like I wouldn't be spraying something like this on this satin top that I've got um, but like a scarf a jumper sweater t-shirt anything spray it on your clothes because they're going to cling to your clothes Eau puff arms do it too but if you're really wanting to get the most out of a body mist if you don't want to afford and grab the um Eau puff arm, if it's just not your thing and you want something for travel that's in a you know easier um bottle clothes you can spray it on your skin as well but just know that it's not going to last as long uh, sometimes if you've actually got a body lotion of the scent you can layer that on top with this but it even says at the back like this body mist is perfect for a lighter dose of Ari by Ariana Grande for the full fragrance experience try Ari by Ariana Grande at a puff this is almost finished but this lasts me a long time still it's probably about maybe there but anymore is the Taylor Swift Enchanted Wonderstruck. Have you smelt that? It's the red one. There was the purple one which I think was just called Wonderstruck I think but then there was Enchanted Wonderstruck. Oh my god. Warm creamy berries. Loved it. Oh my god. But they don't make it anymore. So sad. But yeah so I really want to try the Eilish by Billie Eilish and I think that would probably be the next one I want to add to the to the range. And then I want to re-smell the Mod Vanilla and the Mod Blush by Ariana Grande again. And see how I go. But yeah. So thank you for joining today. I hope to see you soon. This channel will bring different things. I don't know where I'm going to go. But I'm just going to follow my heart and see. But other than that, I'll see you soon. <laughs>